It has been seen that Minecraft users who are downloading the new mod or craft are getting infected with the malware. In this video, we will learn what is Minecraft malware and how to protect your PC from it. What is Minecraft malware? Users who play Minecraft download modifications called mods and plugins to enhance their gaming experience. Often these mods are infected with dangerous malware by cybercriminals. Cybersecurity experts have identified a dangerous malware in Minecraft mods called Fracturizer. Popular platforms such as Craft Bucket and CurseForge are reportedly affected, with threat actors using their websites to upload the malware-laced plugins. The mods users download allow them to switch between different mod packs and these are immensely popular among the Minecraft players. Though these modifications offer a wealth of gameplay enhancements, this convenience has made the rapid spread of the Fracturizer malware. Researchers have reported this virus as extremely dangerous. They have reported that the malware has extremely destructive capabilities, such as the malware propagates itself to all jar files on your system, spreading to mods that were not initially infected, as well as other Java programs, replaces cryptocurrency wallet addresses copied in the system clipboard, steal cookies and user credentials from web browsers, steal credentials for Discord, Microsoft, and Minecraft. So if you are infected with malware, it is a serious threat as the malware can steal information about your cryptocurrency wallet, login credentials of your account, as well as your copied text. Now that you know how dangerous this malware is, you should know how to protect your PC from this malware if you are a Minecraft player. Minecraft players using mods are always advised to exercise extreme caution when downloading mods, but even more so now while this Fracturizer campaign is active. You should avoid downloading mods from unreliable sources at all times. If you want to make sure this malware isn't infecting your PC, you can use scanner scripts available for Windows and Linux. I have provided the link in the description. The script is developed by the Minecraft community. It checks for certain files that malware uses to run. If the script finds those files, it automatically removes them. So download the script, right-click on it, and select Run with PowerShell. Similarly, you can use the script on the Linux. There are some visual signs as well, which you can manually check to identify the Fracturizer malware. You can open the registry editor in Windows and navigate through HKey Current User, Software, Microsoft, Windows, Current Version, and Select Run. Now look for unusual entries here. Next, you can check the startup folder and make sure there are no unusual items here. Then look for this file in the local app data Microsoft Edge folder. If you find it, delete it. Now open the temporary folder of your PC and here look for the installer.jar file. Delete this file if it is there. These are all the obvious indicators that your PC is infected with the Minecraft malware. You can follow these instructions to remove the infections as well as you can run your antivirus application. Note that the antiviruses are still identifying this infection and updating their virus database with the signatures of the malware. So your antivirus might not find anything now and after some time it could detect the infection. That's why you need to update the virus database and keep scanning your PC if you have downloaded the Minecraft mods in the past. If you're infected with this malware, you should clean your PC. The best thing would be to reinstall the whole OS, then change all your login credentials and use unique passwords for every online account. You should focus more on your sensitive accounts such as bank credentials, crypto wallets, and email accounts. If these get compromised, you could be in huge trouble. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share it with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.